Assalamu alaikum you are welcome to my channel in this video i will be teaching you how to make a tie back egyptian kemal do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel the requirement to be needed for this video is displayed on your screen while the measurement you will be needing is also displayed on your screen i will start by folding the breadth of my fabric into two and measure which I have 30 inches. This 30 inches will determine the wideness of the hijab. While I want the wideness of my hijab to be 50, so I'll fold the whole fabric and measure 50. So I'll measure 50 all through and cut out the remaining fabric. Do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Now I will use a ruler to join the 50 inches I measured and cut. The remaining fabric of the remaining will be used to cut our tie back. And it can also be useful to cut any other thing. So now I will fold the 50 inches and measure the length of my hijab which is the front measurement which will be 63.5 Be very careful while measuring So this is what we have after folding our fabric that is after taking the 63.5 inches Now I will measure my back of a job which will be 69.5 inches so beneath the 63.5 inches i measured six inches all around and joined the measurements using a ruler and cut i wouldn't cut out the whole six inches i measured because I, w I don't want the edges of my hijab to be touching the ground. So there will be a curve at the edge. I'll be making a curve using my chalk. The curve will stop where the 63.5 measurement starts. And it can be above it by one inches. For the head circumference, I'll be measuring five inches on the vertical axis, while on the horizontal axis, I'll be measuring three inches. I'll join the measurements using my ruler. And this type of neck is called V neck. Take note of the measurements I'm taking and the cut. I'll only be cutting the front fabric, the upper fabric. I wouldn't cut the back. In Egyptian hijab, you do not cut the back hijab when you are cutting your head circumference. It is only when you are cutting the sleeve you cut both the front and the back. So I'll be measuring. For the sleeve i will join my measurements the sleeve measurements to the edge circumference measurements after joining it using my ruler i will measure with my tape whatever measurements i have there will determine the amount of sleeve i'll be attaching to the hijab the longness of the sleeve I'll be attaching to the hijab. So here I measured and have 27 inches, which means the sleeve I'll be attaching to the hijab will be 10 inches, while I want 9 inches. 
so i'll measure 17 inches now that is addition of one inches and roll with my ruler after rolling i'll measure with my tape which i have 28 inches which means whatever sleeve i'll be attaching to the hijab will be nine inches long so i'll cut out my eight circumference i'm cutting only the front fabric that is the front of the hijab now to cut the sleeve i'll cut both the front and the back together Take note of this. This is what differentiates Egyptian hijab to other hijab. So now this is what we have after cutting out everything. I'll take the measurement of my hand width, which is six inches. That is where I'll be attaching my nine inches sleeve. Now I'll be using the leftover fabric I cut out from the body. To cut my sleeve which I measured nine inches and the wideness will be six inches and I'll cut I'll be attaching a part of the fabric inward because the pieces we have left is not big enough we have 10 inches on each side. So I'll be attaching that to the sleeve. I'll do the same thing to the other fabric also, to the other sleeve also. And cut. Do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I will cut the tie back which is 42 inches long and at the center I measured 4.5 inches and 5 inches for his wideness which will be attached to the hijab. So at the tip I measured 2 inches. So I measured 4.5 inches at the point I measured 5 inches. And join the measurement with my ruler. I will join the five inches also to the two inches using my ruler. Now I will make a curve from that five inches to the two inches using my chalk and cut. The part I measured five inches will be the part to be attached to our hijab. I will make a curve at the tip also and notch the center this is what the tie back looks like now i will start sewing the hijab by sewing the tie back first make sure the right side is facing each other and you sew on the wrong side i'll do the same thing to the other side also Do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And do comments. Now I will turn the tie back to the right side using my scissors. So this is what we have after making the seam. Now I'll start sewing the sleeve by sewing the pieces to be attached to it inward. Make sure you take note of the right side. The right side must be facing each other and you sew on the wrong side. I'll do the same thing to the second sleeve also. Now I'll trim the edges. I 
after attaching you need to trim the edges so now i will measure two inches upward and 2.8 inches downward i measure this all through to be sure i have accurate measurements and i join the measurements using a ruler The two inches will be the one to form a pleat or be smoked when we attach our elastic cover in the 0.2 inches. So I'll do the same thing. I'll take the same measurement for the other sleeve also and join the measurement using my ruler. An elastic band will be fixed on the point which is 0.8 inches. And the elastic band is 7 inches long. So the point which, was, which is 2 inches will be the one to be smoked when we fix the elastic band. So I will make a seam on the line I measured the 2 inches. I will sew the other sleeve also. Do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. So now this is what we have after making the seam. I will secure my elastic band using an office pin on each edges. Do ensure that the elastic band is straight. Make sure it is straight. I will secure it on the other edge also using an office pin. Then I will make a seam on the 0 0.2 inches. Be careful while making a seam so that the rubber is straight. This is what we have after making our seam. I will stitch the edges and remove the office pin. So this is what we have after making the seam. Then I will join the sleeve, maintaining half inch allowance all through. So this is what the sleeve looks like after making a seam. I'll do the same thing for the other sleeve also. Now to join our hijab, make sure the edges are not joined. Tilt the first, the upper fabric upward a bit and make a seam. I will sew the other side also like that. This is what we have after making a seam. This is what we have after sewing everything. So do ensure to always try to wear your fabric, your hijab, before attaching your tie back. Because Egyptian hijab, you cannot make a seam in the front, so it is better you keep on trying it on until you get the accurate measurements. I will make a seam for the down part of the hijab, doing the front separately and the back separately. I will join the sides of the hijab. Making a seam from beneath the hand width down, which I have this after making the seam. I'll do the same thing for the other side also. Now I will attach the sleeve to the hand width, and I make sure my sleeve is turned to the right side. Now open the seam. So ensure that the sleeve is facing the right side as well as the hijab. So you make your seam on the wrong side. 
and this is what we have after swimming. Thank you for watching. Do ensure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And do press the bell icon for notification. If you are in love with this video, do leave a comment.